touched, has it carried? Peterson's not waiting, he's walking, and Dhoni's taken a good catch. Low to his right, Zahir Khan strikes, and India, they're having a good time of it. The big screen. Has to play, and it just about carries... Oh, my goodness me! Oh, we'll have a look at this again. I mean, Peterson's going back. Here we are, let's look again. There's the outside edge, watch carefully. Definitely bounced. You can see a bit of grass. See it there. It's bounced there, even with what you'd call as a foreshortening of the angle. You can see a little bit of grass kicking up. I've seen that grass that you're talking about. He's not out. Peterson stays in. He's been three quarters of the way off. Oh, what a carry! Yes, it has. Sarah Ganguly thrown in the air, but nothing off the bat, obviously, according to Steve Buckner. Sarah Ganguly saying was a bat, and uh, Steve says no. There's another interesting decision. There's been plenty happening out there. Oh, come off his hip. And it didn't. Well, hang on a sec. Well, let's start off with the fact that it's uh, come off his thigh pad and that he's missed it by a considerable margin. Oh, dear. has been picked up on the big screen as well so the Australian board supporters are not appreciating that so I've tossed it a mile in the air yes here yeah. it's very difficult for the right handers now that is a poor mistake and he's going to be is he caught it is he caught it he has can you believe it wow a big shot came along and he's caught that so it's on that position that they'll be checking so let's see so it is here, got a good hander, oh yeah, that'll be a not out. One of the rare mistakes they've made this year. Mr. Shazad thought he caught that. He's gone. He ran into the boulder. Similar happened today. Campbell is down on the ground, but he bounced into the bowler he'll have to go and things like this do happen but the ball is in his right to try and get to the ball and showing camera colliding with him with him trying to get across it may seem as if he was blocking him but he has his right to try and get across to the other side of the pitch well unfortunately for sure Campbell, he slipped it's 138 for two Ugly scenes here at Kensington Noble as we come back live following the run out of Sherwin Campbell. They are in some danger out there. The safety of the players must become. Okay. And Keith Stackpole. Out. I think it came out for a brief moment. Sri Kanth is waiting on the umpire. He thought that it came out of War's hands and hit the ground, but we have to wait and see. The pressure's right on Mel Johnson, who's going across and looking as though he's going to ask the fieldsman, did he catch it? Alan Border having a chat with him there, webbing his finger and going off the ground. Well, let's have a look at it again. Trican hits the ball, War cushions it through. It's out, still in the air. It's still off and it hits the ground and a very good decision. Very good decision by Mel Johnson. That's gone. Well, I did mention it. I saw something amiss. Let's have a look. Polly out well short of his ground, but uh, was the wicket disturbed? The umpire has given the batsman out, and uh, the third umpire concurs with Venkat's decision. And Hollyoke is going to have to go. Well, we've uh, magnified this uh, dismissal for you. There's the bail going, and Hollyoke was quite right. And that's why Hollyoke was questioning the decision. It's a pity that we didn't have uh, time for the third umpire to see that, because uh, 
the batsman uh, was clearly uh, not out. That should have been out. It still is out. Ian Healy was able to recover and knock the ball onto the stumps. He missed the first attempt. Well, Brian Lyra has to go. Keith Arthur is going in the other direction with uh, not what you'd call a happy expression. And there it is. No doubt that Lara was out of his ground, but the question is, did Healy break the stumps or did the ball? Lara out there now. Watch the ball. There goes the hand onto the stumps and watch the ball. It goes past the stumps by about four inches, I'd say. If he has a look at the paper tomorrow morning, he's out, stumped Healy, bowled Matthews for 58. Hogg gets a full pitch. Oh, well, this is it. They're going to ask for it. They're going to call. They'll ask the umpire for interference. That possibly is out, I would say. Umpire Tony Craft has not moved, but that was certainly obstruction. Marsh kicking that ball away. But it wasn't willful obstruction, Bill. It was hit by Rodney Hogg there. Marsh... Oh, well, I thought it was an unintentional thing, but it seemed that Marsh just stuck a foot out. That was certainly obstruction of Preston Tech, Frank. There's no doubt about that. And that was certainly obstruction and poor umpiring. That was not good enough. If New Zealand go down by one run, Fleet Street will tear us apart because that was a kick away by Rodney Marsh. It was intentional. A certain run out. The left foot went out. Thank goodness it wasn't a Victorian. That's all I can say. And if South Africa win this, it's one of the all-time great performances. The ball wasn't going to hit a boundary here. It's not easy. In comes Tolly. Where is it? To Yorker. Oh, he misfeels it. Should have been a run out. One, one, they're asking for interference. I thought the big keeper was asking for interference there. They're talking. That'll be very, very interesting. Tolly was in with a chance. This will be very, very interesting. What are you saying? An obstruction? I don't think so. I think that was... Uh accidental I think the ball was hit very firmly back and Cronje has withdrawn the uh, withdrawn the appeal how about that for a captain let's have a look at it big chance for running out here oh he's put the bat out dear oh dear I tell you what he's a very generous captain as a South African skipper I think he's he was taking his bat back to get back into the crease ball you're being very severe on your own trying to be fair to both teams I want to look at that again well I'm not quite, sh quite sure what this is about uh, players are questioning something asking uh, Orchard well something that the batsman has done well we're just trying to find out uh, what what they're uh, querying. Let's have a look. This is Brad Williams' uh, previous delivery. Nothing there. Now let's watch, watch the batsman. Well, he struck that all right. There's no drama there. Ball goes down to fine leg. We even got the drinks on the field now when the umpire is really not conferring. Again, we'll have a look at it from this angle. Brad Williams comes in. Straight off the bat, down to fire leg. Nowhere near his stumps. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what they queried. They were wondering how the bail has fallen off. Well, it looks like Ponting has walked past, hasn't realised he's knocked the stumps, and then they've looked around and thought that maybe the batsman uh, must have done playing the shot. Quite uh, well, Andre. Oh, that was Langer doing that intentionally. Well, I thought it was Ponting. They're the same shape, but on the uh, second look there, it's just a Langer. Now he must. Well, he's got to realise he does. What is he flinging the bales for? 
And why really did he do that? I mean, that really is uh, something childish one might um, think.